Hey everybody, this is Brian. Uh, I am here in the Bahamas uh, in Nassau. Uh, we're on Nassau Island. Paradise Island uh, is behind me and we've been here all week covering this uh, really mysterious case of uh, a missing woman. A missing 41-year-old woman from Chicago, Illinois. Her name is Taylor Casey. Uh, and um, it's, it's a disturbing case. I've been digging into it for the last several days here. Uh, she is from Chicago, 41 years old, really into yoga, uh, came here to the Bahamas to take part in a yoga retreat. The name of the, 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 the resort, the retreat, it's called Sivananda Ashram. Uh, and it's on Paradise Island. If you're familiar with Paradise Island, um, that's where Atlantis is, that big tourist resort. So this is on the same island, but it's on the western edge of the island, really like a much more uninhabited side. There's no way to get there unless you go by boat or um, you have to walk down a long beach to get to this resort where she was staying. And she was there trying to get an advanced certification in yoga. She'd been doing yoga for 15 years, came to the Bahamas to, to get this certification. It's a very popular place, by the way, uh, endorsed by Gwyneth Paltrow's um, Goop lifestyle brand. They, they called it otherworldly. So people come from all over the world uh, to go to this, this center. Uh, I tr went out there to um, see it for myself. Uh, first, I want to show you what that was like. Take a look. It's not easy to get to the Sivanandra Ashram, the yoga retreat uh, where Taylor Casey was staying. There's really no roads to get there here on Paradise Island, on this part of the island. So the only way that we could find is to walk down the beach. So we made it to the ashram uh, where she was staying. You can see it's, it's pretty quiet right now, but there are people still staying here. There's some smaller buildings on this side. There's uh, larger buildings over here. And it's very, very close to the Atlantis Resort. Those big pink buildings in the distance, uh, that's a big, big tourism destination here on Paradise Island. But I'm not seeing anybody searching on the beach. Yeah, there is or nobody searching. No, I haven't seen anybody searching either. That's why I was surprised you didn't like say, I was thinking there'd be like flyers. Oh, well, you can go in there. Hi. Do you know any, have anything new to, about the missing woman, nothing. Taylor Casey? No. We no? Nothing. Okay. We've heard nothing, so you won't have get any information from us this evening. C can I leave my card? Is that okay? My business card? Uh, yeah. I'm okay. Curious. So the thing that struck me uh, the most was that there were no um, posters out there of this missing woman. Uh, and I get it. Look. You know, it's obviously a business and they're probably nervous about scaring the guests, but uh, I guess I was expecting people to at least know that there was a missing woman and that there would be some posters there and there were none from what we could tell. Um, I've been now since talking to people who are staying there and who have been staying there. They've been getting in touch with me through Twitter. Um, and some uh, women that I met have actually left since all of this started just upset uh, that they weren't informed that there was a missing person um, and upset. You know, they say this whole resort prides itself on community and belonging and they just felt like the with the values that they have, um, that they preach there, that there should have been some kind of prayer circle or something about this missing woman. Um, and you're going to hear from her family in a second. Her family is now here on the ground. I just interviewed them here in the Bahamas. They came from Chicago. But first, I, I want to tell you a little bit about this um, ashram yoga resort because I, again I, I talked to a woman who just left and I, I took some notes of what she said about it she said there's all sorts of rooms you can rent a tent and camp out there's also beachfront rooms you have your own bathroom and then there's the tent huts and we believe that Taylor the missing woman may have been staying in one of the tent huts um, she said that it's a strict schedule every day uh, at this place there's a spiritual gathering from 6 to 8 a.m. yoga class from 9 from 8 to 9 45 they do brunch which is all vegetarian um, and then there's classes throughout the day. There's a 4 p.m. yoga class, 6 p.m. dinner, 8 p.m. 40-minute meditation and chanting, and then another lesson. She said that there is internet there, but it gets turned off during the spiritual meetings. That it's all inclusive. I guess when I was curious what the price was. When you rent a tent, it's $80 a night. It goes up to like $500 a night for one of the private rooms. Um, if you want to leave, you have to reserve a spot on a boat the only way to get on and off the island 
Uh, and she told me that the boat operator said that he was the one working and that he did not see the missing woman ever leave the island, which was interesting. Um, she said that they tell you there that beach walks are not safe. They urge you not to leave the ashram at all. But people leave because there's no coffee there. And, you know, if they want to go get something, they'll have to leave for that. Um, and uh, basically... She was upset that um, this is another woman who was staying there that they weren't informed about what happened. Um, in, terms of, in terms of Taylor's family, Taylor's mom is now here in the Bahamas. Uh, she's come with a contingent of Taylor's friends from Chicago to dig for answers, to try to figure out what happened to her daughter. I just interviewed her. Uh, take a look at this. Tell me a little bit about your daughter. I was telling you on, online, there's so many messages of people who know her and love her. Yeah, do you have time? Because it's going no, to... <laughs> no, my daughter is wonderful. Taylor is just absolutely marvelous, loving, caring, kind, just care about people, stands for justice, stands for a right, you know, just want people to be treated fairly. And Taylor is the pillar of our family. You know, they say I am, but I'm not. It's Taylor. It's Taylor. And she loves yoga? Loves yoga. That's why she came here. That's why Taylor came to um, the Savannah, Savannah and the Sivananda Yoga um, Retreat to, to learn how to come a be struck, instructor. Taylor not only wanted to just do it, now Taylor wants to teach it and teach me some moves. Taylor said, Mom, I'm coming home and show you some moves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Was she looking forward to it? Like, was this a trip she had been talking about? Absolutely. You know, for months before Taylor even came here. You know, I'm going to do the yoga, you know. And I was concerned then that Taylor decided to come by Taylor's self. And, um, but, you know, yeah. And Taylor was at the yoga retreat center. Taylor was not, you know, wandering around the Bahamas by herself. Taylor was at the yoga retreat, had arrived on June 3rd. Yes. Um, and then um, was reported missing on June 20th. Um, and so Taylor, throughout that time, had been with the other um, participants of the yoga teacher training at Sivananda. And how was it going? Had you been in touch? Yes. Taylor would call me and send me pictures. Taylor seemed, like, really happy at the place, you know, and send me pictures of Taylor in the water and explaining to me about the yoga and what Taylor was going to teach me when Taylor got here. Yeah, it seemed to be going good. It seemed to be going good. And how did you find out that she was missing? The yoga retreat called me. Someone from the yoga retreat called me and asked me, uh, have you heard from Taylor? And I'm like, I'm looking at the phone now because what do you mean have I heard from Taylor when Taylor is with you? This is what I'm thinking, you know? And I said, yeah, I heard from Taylor. And I told them what day that I heard from Taylor. Yeah. And they said that she was missing? Or? They were concerned because Taylor missed a few classes. Yeah. Missed like a whole day. That's what she said. Taylor missed a whole day of classes. Yeah. And they haven't seen Taylor. And what did you think then? I couldn't think then. I really couldn't. My heart started pounding and I'm thinking, I'm like, so what are you saying? You guys can't find my child? And they didn't really want to say that, of course, but yeah, that's what they meant. They couldn't find my child. Is she the type that would take some time away without, not without telling anybody? Not without me knowing it. Taylor is my child. It calls me constantly, constantly. I even have to say to Taylor, Sometimes, don't you have some friends to call? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so Taylor was like that. No, no, I would have been the first to know, you know. And Taylor, no, has never taken any time away. Whenever Taylor left, I knew where Taylor was going. I knew where Taylor was going. So you've now come from Chicago to the Bahamas. Yes. Have you learned anything that, I mean, obviously everybody's watching this wanting you to know what happened. If she's yeah. okay. I mean, have you, not have you gotten any more learn, details? Not what I want to learn. The investigation is pending. And, you know, I'm, we're looking for more answers. We want 
straight answers and more answers. So the investigation is pending. No, but I haven't heard anything I wanted to hear so far. So it's still a mystery, really, of what happened. Yeah. 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 I think it was, it was uh, Taylor's niece who was on with us and said that the phone last pinged. That's my the, granddaughter. In the yes. water. Yes, yes. Because when I found out, when they told me Taylor was missing, I called my family, of course. And my granddaughter, she loves her family, too. She likes to keep all of us on location on her phone. And she pinged the phone and said, Grandma, you know, Auntie Taylor's phone is in the water. And my, I, yeah, I was just, that just really was the clincher for me. So scared. So scared. I'm still, I need to know. I need answers. I need Taylor home. We need Taylor home. <laughs> Please, please, I just, yeah. Wow, wow. Did they find the phone or did it just ping? Do you know? It pinged for my daughter, yeah. They have the phone. They have the phone. They have the phone. They have the phone, but we haven't been able to see the phone or look into it. That's what I really, I think that's gonna have a lot of our answers. Yeah. But um, yeah, they still have the phone. They haven't given me the phone. But I want that phone before I leave. Do you feel confident right now in, you know, I mean, we're in another country right now. I don't, <laughs> it's not like we're back home with the police or I don't, you know what I mean? I'm not exactly sure how it all works here, but you've had more exposure to that than me meeting with everybody. Do you feel confident right now and you know, that it's being taken seriously? Not as confident as I want to feel. Not as confident as I want to feel. You know, people can tell you anything thing long distance. I'm here right now. Yeah, I need to know that they are taking this seriously. I need to know they're taking this seriously and helping to bring our loved one home. I need to know that. And no, I'm not feeling that confident about that. Yeah, and we need to know that they're gonna do whatever it takes to find Taylor. Yes. And there's still more that needs to be done. Yes. And so we need to see that. Yes. Um, we've talked to uh, two women from the uh, yoga center uh, who decided to leave because they said that no one was told that there was a missing person, that there was no f um, flyers up. Uh, and, you know, they just felt like they should have been told that when they checked in and that this was happening. Uh, I agree 100%. 100%. And I don't know anything about anybody leaving the retreat, you know. Like I say, the investigation is still pending and we have more questions to ask. But, um, yeah, I don't know about any, anybody leaving the retreat. Was it because of Taylor? No, no, it, hadn't, it, it was because they felt like they weren't told what was happening in terms of that there was someone missing who had been staying there and they just felt like they the people you know a lot I think a new people have come since last week mm. and they felt like they should have been told you yeah. know that there was someone I get missing it. I understand yeah. I feel like quite a few things aren't being told I feel like quite a few things aren't being told and it's certainly understandable that if someone is coming to a yoga retreat center where someone else, another participant has gone missing within the last week, week and a half, and uh, they're not being open about it, it's certainly understandable how that would be alarming, right? That's certainly understandable why someone would be uncomfortable going to a place where someone had just disappeared yeah. um, and, and uh, they were not informed. So what do you guys do now? I mean, you're here, obviously. We're going to meet with the police every answers. day. What? Yeah. What? Pretty much since we've been here. Yep. Um, we plan on going back to the yoga retreat. Yep. Yep. And just continue asking questions. Asking questions. What's yeah. going to happen? Are you taking this seriously? Let's let's find my child, please, please. And yeah. I hope it happens before I leave. Yeah, and I would just say too, I mean, I think, you know, this is the kind of thing that nobody prepares you for, 
um, and you don't expect it to happen to you until it happens to you. Um, but this is the kind of thing, given what we're hearing right now, this is the kind of thing that could have happened to anyone. You know, we're not hearing anything that um, makes us think that, you know, Taylor was out of character or anything of the sort. This seems like this could have happened to anyone. I saw today uh, someone from the Bahamian authorities was on camera saying the FBI is now involved. Have you guys heard that? You know, that is not our understanding. You know, our understanding is that um, that the U.S. government allows sovereign nations, uh, their police forces, to carry out the investigations, and that's our understanding of what is happening here. Okay. Yeah, and we haven't talked to anyone from the FBI. Yeah. Um, anything else you think is important? I mean, have they have they seen any video? Is there any video or any any surveillance video? Has anyone said anything about that? You know, we haven't seen any surveillance video. We, uh, you know, we really think that there needs to be more um, surveillance video. Yes. There's got to be um, in this world that we live in, and also given where um, Taylor disappeared from the area, there's got to be more. Um, but we haven't seen any surveillance video, um, and um, that's one of the additional questions that we have. Is 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 precisely that. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Anything? Please help us find our child. Help us find our loved one. And go home with our loved one. You know, that was Taylor's intentions, to come here, do that yoga retreat, and come back home. And come back home. That's what we were expecting. Yeah. Still expecting. This is sad for me. This is really not good. Not good. And God, praise God, Jehovah, he is holding me up, really holding me up. Yeah. Really holding me up about this. God is my strength and my comfort. And these wonderful people, Taylor's <laughs> friends, all oh, just, Taylor, had, Taylor has a wonderful group of friends. Everybody would want to have these friends. Yeah, and Taylor is, they're Taylor's friends like that because that's how Taylor is to them. Mm. A loving, caring friend. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Sorry thank to make you. you do this. Thank you so that's much. Okay. Yeah, thank you. That's okay. It thank needs you. to be done. Yeah. So you can imagine how difficult it is for Taylor's family. Um, you know, she's missing and then also to be here in a foreign country and trying to work with the police here. Um, and it's now been, uh, I don't, whenever you're watching this, I'm not sure, but it, we're, I'm here right now, it's been over a week since she went missing. She, she was reported missing on the 20th of June. Um, and so they're obviously growing concerned and um, determined to, to get answers. The, and feeling like maybe an, a lot wasn't done initially. I mean, now we're seeing more action, but again, it's been a week. Uh, the police uh, did hold a press conference um, and I want you to hear what they said. We met with the family of Taylor Casey, who was reported missing to our agency on Thursday, the 20th of June, 2024. Since that report was made, we have conducted extensive investigation into the matter. This afternoon, we updated the family of Taylor as to where we are in the investigation. We have a very, very good relationship. They're very, very pleased with the investigations thus far. We used our drone technology. We used our canine. We've used our divers. We've used a number of resources. And so our investigation continues into this matter. So now uh, everybody's just waiting, hoping for some kind of good news. But again, um, Taylor's family says that she's not the type who would ever just disappear. Um, she would never just not call them. Again, this is an island. So, uh, you know, if she was going to fly out, immigration would know about that. There'd be documentation of that. And there is none. Again, the boat driver that takes you off the boat where the yoga retreat is says that he doesn't remember seeing her leave. So something very mysterious. Also, um, Taylor's aunt says, and this is important, uh, Taylor's aunt says that her phone pinged in the water. That was the last ping, which was on Wednesday. 
um, let me just look at my calendar again. That would have been Wednesday the uh, 19th. Um, and that the phone has been located. Uh, so that's sort of another element to the mystery. But, but Taylor has not been found. So uh, we'll continue to stay on top of it. Um, you know, we obviously uh, take these missing cases very seriously. We travel all the way here to the Bahamas. Um, and uh, I'll keep you posted uh, on Twitter.